Hey, welcome back to Reliable Sources. I'm Brian Stelter. Is the Trump and Russia story over, like the biggest stars on Fox News claim? That's the subject of my essay today. Is it over, or is it very much ongoing? Because the experts say it's very much ongoing. Multiple investigations are underway. Many questions about Russian interference in the election are unanswered. And some of President Trump's defenses are unbelievable. But I want you to notice how conservative media heavyweights have been spinning this. They talk about Russia in the past tense, like it's over, like it's been settled, and like Trump has been completely vindicated. Watch this from Fox. This is Tucker Carlson's show on August 24th. Did the Russia story disappear, or is that my imagination? Yeah, boy, before I went on vacation, it was the biggest story of our lifetime, and we were, we were entering a constitutional crisis. Now, I can't seem to find any coverage on it. It really is quite remarkable, Tucker. It's weird. What a fickle group they are, those journalists. Hey, that's been a popular pro-Trump talking point. But it's embarrassing for Tucker, given the daily drip, drip, drip of new information coming from hardworking reporters. The day before that Tucker Carlson clip, actually CNN broke this news. Breaking news, a CNN exclusive. A revealing email from a top aide to President Trump under new scrutiny tonight by congressional investigators. The email detailed an effort to arrange a meeting between top Trump officials and Russian President Vladimir Putin during the campaign. Maybe Tucker missed that, although Fox's newsroom did follow up on it. Maybe Tucker also missed this headline from the day before. This is from Politico saying Trump had been clashing with multiple GOP senators over Russia. But this idea has been a theme on Fox's opinion shows in recent weeks. The idea that the Russia scandal has just, I don't know, it's just faded away. What is one thing that I don't think anybody has talked about all week? Uh, Russia. I, I, in fact, right? I don't remember the last time I read a story about Russia. Uh, and, and three weeks ago, it was all we were talking about. So now, they claim, Trump critics are desperately trying to change the subject. The Russia probe didn't go anywhere for the Dems, so now they're all outraged over the Confederate statues. They didn't get anywhere thus far on this Russian investigation. Right. They've tried, they've tried, they've tried. That story re really didn't gather a lot of steam. See, it's Russia in the past tense, implying that it's all over now. There, there's no Robert Mueller investigation. There's, there's no more concerns about hacking or colluding. There's nothing to see here. It's gone from Russia, 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 to President Trump going to launch a nuclear war with North Korea, to, oh my gosh, racist, racist, racist. They didn't make Russia, Russia, Russia stick, as you pointed out. They are trying to make racist, racist, racist stick. So you see what's going on here. The message from these Fox shows is people are out to get Trump no matter what, whether it's about Russia, whether it's about Charlottesville, no matter what it is. Trump morning host, uh, excuse me, Fox and Friends morning host, not Trump and Friends, although that's a good name for it. Fox and Friends host Brian Kilmeade even suggested this is a conspiracy, that whenever Trump has a few good news cycles, the Washington Post finds some new Russia surprise. Every time he gets on a roll, they come up with some type of Russia... Uh, Bingo! Uh, yeah, great you know, point. ...limerick that we yeah, all have to point. digest. Yeah, terrific point. Those talking heads should ask real reporters how this works. This kind of investigative reporting takes a lot of time. It's going to take many more months. But when there are important new developments, and there basically are every day, these pro-Trump shows on Fox just tune it out. They just completely ignore it. The network's newest conservative commentator, Tommy Lahren, kind of gave away the script. She, she said this on Hannity the other night. How about we make a deal? How about when the mainstream media stops covering Russia day in and day out, maybe we can drop the Hillary email scandal. But until then, I think I'm going to stay on it. What a pretty revealing comment, right? That she's going to keep talking about Clinton as long as everybody else keeps talking about Trump and Russia. But what's clear from all these clips is that the pro-Trump media wants the Russia investigations to be over. So maybe they're just pretending like the investigations are over. They're not curious. They don't want questions answered about what really happened last year and what might happen in future elections. But the reality is, as Eugene Robinson wrote in the Washington Post the other day, the bad news about this Russia thing keeps pouring in for Trump. I'm sure you've seen some of these headlines from the past few days. I, I don't even have time to sum them all up, but the coverage continues on a daily basis. And I want to give Elizabeth Drew the last word here. She covered the Nixon presidency and Watergate. Now she's covering the Trump presidency, and she sees a similarity between then and now. 
you know, you always have the politicians involved saying, oh, people aren't interested in Watergate. Oh, people aren't interested in that Russia business. You people are just wasting your time. That means they're pretty worried about it. She says the dismissals mean they are actually pretty worried about it.